this is a non-related question to this Sunday, but just the difference between turf and grass, can you feel the difference on your body? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, especially, obviously, like practicing on turf for a long time. You can just feel it in your joints. And then, you know, playing on turf is just not as forgiving as grass. Um, so, you know, obviously that results in a lot of people, their cleats getting stuck in the turf and, you know, unfortunate non-contact injuries. So, yeah, left up to me uh, in a perfect world, every turf or every field will be grass for sure. Division game uh, week two, uh, what's at stake this early in the season with the Patriots? Oh, I mean, it's a big game, obviously. Um, but, you know, we're just going to prepare for it like we always do. Um, so, obviously, they got a talented team, and it's going to be a hard-nosed game. It always is when we play the Patriots. So, yeah. What we saw towards the end of that game, what the defense did, is that, is that the MO of this defense this season? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, you don't want to be in that situation every time. <laughs> we want to be able to you know, hold them to a lot less points, a lot less yards given up. But, I mean, yeah, I guess that is the MO because, you know, no matter what happens when push comes to shove, uh, you're always going to see high effort, high intensity uh, from us. So. You guys got those sacks late, but early on it seemed like you had some trouble getting pressure before. What was going on? Uh, well, I mean, they weren't really drop back passing too often. They were either doing uh, play action um, or and then, you know, the few uh, drop back passes they did have. I mean, it's kind of hard to get in a rhythm when, you know, they're just running the ball on you. And like I, I said in an interview after the game, we didn't earn the right to run a passer. So you got to stop the run before you can actually get to those third and long situations, second and long situations. So, I mean, they were really just kind of having their way uh, in the run game. So uh, we really, you know, didn't even really have the chance to get much going uh, in the pass game. Um, you know, I think it's just about uh, discipline, technique, uh, things like that. You know, obviously, this is our first live bullets of a full game with this new defense, so there's going to be growing pains. Uh, and so I think just, you know, getting back to the drawing board uh, and really just, like I said, being disciplined with our run fits and things like that. Uh, so I think, you know, it'll be um, not to say easy adjustments, but I don't think, you know, it's, it's going to be the end of the world um, trying to figure it out. Like, I think that, you know, like I said, just getting in that meeting room, getting out in the practice field, we'll be able to work it out. Absolutely. Uh, you know, it's a copycat league. So anytime you're, you're assessing somebody on film and you see that a certain play or a certain formation or something has success, you're most likely going to try to repeat that success. Um, so we have to go out there and set the tone uh, and prove that we can stop the run. Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a talented quarterback. Um, and, um, yeah. <laughs> you think week one we all overreact, win or lose around, around the league, media alike? Um, I think sometimes you guys overreact in general, uh, <laughs> which, you know, isn't a necessarily a bad thing. Like, you know, when it's, when it's going well and, and, you know, you guys are hyped and excited, that's obviously a great thing. Um, so, you know, but obviously it is a long season. Uh, and so when it comes to people, you know, making season-long predictions and things like that, um, you know, I think, you know, a, a lot of time uh, can tell, obviously. So, uh, yeah, we just take it week by week. Um, but obviously we're happy with the results last week.